Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and today I'm making some pencil boxes for my grandkids. Um, I did the first one in balmy blue and you can see it has a wee drawer and holds lots of grown up pens and what is this, I've got a uh, correction pen and stuff like that. He is in secondary school so that will be suiting him. This one I've made for my grandson Sean now. I'm going to change these out because he's still in primary school and they do not use pens but I need to get out of the shops and get some so that'll be pencils, maybe be funny rubbers, things like that. Erasers you call them nowadays I suppose. So his favourite colour is red so the next one I'm going to do for Tom and his favourite colour is green so we'll go with some um, what do you call it? Purpose ass. So they're nice wee boxes. They're good and sturdy. I've done all the stamping on the outside so it's really good and in the front it just says it's your time to shine which I think is perfect for going back to school. So uh, the stamp sets that I'm going to use are Family Party which is brilliant for all those numbers on your stars. You can also put Grandson in there if you wanted and the sentiment it's your time to shine is from Daisy Lane. So perfect for boys. If you're going to do one for girls, just change up the colours, make them um, more girly, I suppose. Depends on what, what they're like. So for this, you're going to need two pieces of card. I'm keeping the drawers all black just to keep them clean and fresh for them. And for the drawer, you need 10 inches by 7 inches in the plain black card. And for the cover, you need a piece 8.5 by 7 and 1 eighth, just an extra wee one eighth there uh, so that the drawer slides in and stays closed and not gaping. I did one that was seven inches and it just is the exact size of the box. And I think it just makes a wee better um, drawer if it's in. I did this one and it's slightly in so it just it definitely helps. And as you can see if the backs closed I didn't leave them open. I didn't want them sliding right through on them. Boys are not as gentle as girls in most cases. So we'll start with our front front piece and we're going to score it. Because this is wrapping around your drawer, it needs to be slightly, a wee bit more give in it. So to do that, slide it in your eight, eight and a half inches side and push, pull it out from the edge. You can use your card to push it out or just eyeball it like I am doing. I'm just going so that's between sort of the centre of that we mark there just right in the center if you can see it's butted up there now and then I'm just going to slide it out don't want to bring it right out to this mark you want it in just in the center of that first way place there before your first notch so do that slide it out to where you're happy make sure it's nice and straight and just go in and score it at three inches and score it again at seven inches seven inches no four inches no <laughs> seven inches you twit okay and then slide it back in and go in there and score it at four inches and eight inches and that just gives you that wee extra bit and for your bottom end you just need to score it at one inch and that's the scoring done for that we'll do your scoring for this while we're here uh, slide it in any side you want to start and just score it at one inch and two inch and just swing it round and do one inch and two inch again and again so you're just doing that on all four sides one inch and two inches and that makes your wee drawer so we'll just do our score and We'll actually we'll leave the, the drawer and we'll concentrate on this because this is the part that needs stamped on and I want to stamp it before I do my folds. So we we'll need all our numbers and um, oops. I have set up a block that has the one, two, three, four, three, four, five. I'm just going to stamp it block stamp because I did the first one using one number at a time and it takes an age, so it's not worth the, the hassle. I'm going to roll my sleeves up here too because I always get covered in ink. So I'm just using Memento for a good impression. And I'm going to pop under my sort of wiggly pad here and a piece of uh, scrap paper so that I can overstamp the edges. 
So just bear in mind that this will be the top of your box, this one, so make it as nice as you want. And because we're going sideways, actually this will be the side it slides out. So you can use that to position your numbers for your start of and just ink them up well in the memento. And just vary your stamping. I'm going to stamp that off slightly. Give it a good press and you can see and then just work your way around till you have the whole area stamped. And I'm just sort of smooching it in beside it. And we'll just do another one and then I'll go and finish this off and come back to you. So you will see the sides, so you want to make it all look cohesive, you know. So I'm going to keep doing that and I'll come back to you when I'm happy with it being filled. So I'm back with most of that stamped and because I used the model one block, you'll find there's places that you're not overly happy. So what I did was go in with another number, number six this time, just work them away up. Use whatever numbers you want yourself if they're of any significance and then just go back in with that one stamp and just fill in your spaces around the edges especially Put a whole six in there so anywhere you're in doubt some of that's going to be glued under anyway so it doesn't really matter but in the part you can see just fill it in be one down this side and what the, another number that we have is another number another set or stamp that I've used out of that same set is the wee stars so again go back in where any spaces you see that you'd like to fill in and just add another wee bit to it don't have to it depends on yourself what each group or what you're using this for but it's, it's a lovely wee stamp set that a grand kid I love it I love it from scrapbooking too it's just perfect you can see that really adds a little bit of whoops pizzazz to it her pizzazz <laughs> Here, and just to go over your edge as well, it gives it a nice uh, uniform finish, like it could be your own um, decorative paper. So even you can go in with a wee single stamp if you want to use a wee tiny one along the edge there. Gives you that wee bit of addition. So I think that's fairly good. There's one wee space there. They're well filled up anyway, that's for sure. So anything you like yourself at this stage, go ahead. There's no stopping me once I start. Right, I'm going to leave it. I think enough's enough. So we'll pop these out of the way. And we'll do our scorn. So i get my scraps out of the way. And just go in with your scorn too. In fact, I'm going to leave it to dry just in case I'm going to do our box and go back to that. Otherwise, I'll end up all inky. So do your scores in this. Double on all sides. So now we need to do a bit of cutting. And we're just going to cut the same on both sides, on the top and the bottom, not, not the sides, on the top and the bottom. We can nearly tell. So start off cutting this one. 
And you know I like to keep that lumpy bit to the right hand side so that this one's smooth. And just got straight through the two layers right up to there. And the same in this one. Straight up to there. And then we're cutting this one off. Don't need it. And we don't need these both. And that's the one you're going to be working with. So we can taper it in. To keep it nice and neat and then do the same with this side only this time keeping those bumps to your left of your scissors so that it gives you that nice clean finish on the edge of your box right up to that mark this one you don't have to be as fussy because you're cutting it away later so chop off that again keep that bit to your right cut off the extra one there and taper those in. And that is the shape that you're going for. So repeat the process at this side and that'll be your, you'll be ready for glue. So <clears throat> I'm back and this is the, the shape you should now have. Both top and bottom, as I showed you, cut in with two wee flaps on the inside. And that's what's going to make your nice box. So choose which one you want your ribbon pull on. And whatever it is, go to this. You know it's three inches. So go to the halfway mark. Right, so. And get yourself a pen, pencil, whatever. And mark a wee line just at the one and a half inch section. And then just using your punch of whatever you whatever punch you use i'm using this old thing here just go to that mark and punch a circle you're only punching on this section not this one so now you're going to need a piece of ribbon this is retired ribbon i know but it works perfectly with the the black but there's lots to choose from online i'm sure you have ribbon in your own stash of some sort that would suit your colors before you do that get your tape runner and put a wee bit at either side of the hole. Thread your ribbon in. And then you're just going to separate it out to either side and press it onto that. Pull any excess through and just have it nice and flat. So there's no pressure when you go to glue your it's nice and smooth now so what we want to do now is fold these two in and make sure your ribbon isn't too long if it's if it's longer than what you want now's the time to adjust it i'm going to leave it there anyway handy for wee tiny boy's hands so i'm using them um, the tomboy glue and i'm putting it on the four flaps And then just start creating your box. You're just uh, pulling in the lower edges. You're not doing anything with the upper reinforcement edges. Just get that good shape. Making sure it's nice and square. We want to slide into our pencil box nice and easily. Around this side and do the same. Moving that offline or off shot for you. Just press those and hold to the tick. So now you're left with this kind of box and we'll want to be able to um, put glue on the outer edges now. I'm going to leave these ones to the last so they fold in and hold everything down. So go to this one on the inside put a bit of your tomboy glue or well, you could use tape but I think it's, this is easier easier by far so push that down use your bone folder just to give it a nice press so it's nice and smooth go to the opposite side do the same fold it in smooth it and then on this one where the ribbon is Make sure you put 
glue all around the edges and then just go in and put two blobs on the actual ribbon so that you know it's going to take a good hold push it in and again use your roll folder to make it tick nicely gives you a good sturdy box same on this side fold it in and give it a rub and that's your wee drawer well formed nicely ribbon pull at the start and that'll go inside this one already so we we'll want to do these Give them a good press. And your one inch one at the bottom. And again, with a wee bit of cutting to do, we're going to cut this one away, this wee half section, and cut those in a wee bit. Again, remember to keep your lumpy bit to you, the other side of your scissors. So you're going to be cutting that bit away anyway. Same on this side, keep it to the opposite side and cut it away. So we want to actually use the, the firmness of the box to make sure that you're getting a nice um, fit. So that'll fold over, that should fold over there. And then you'll know when you're putting your glue on, you know, if you put that down and pressed it, like so you're going to come right to the edge and the box doesn't want you to do that so use the box to your benefit fold it up we have given it a wee extra piece but it still will want to form its own closure and as you can see there's just a wee lip there but any more in the box is going to be too lace this is just the perfect nice neat finish so what you want to do is put your glue along here Just make sure you've got your edges nicely glued. The rest of it should take perfectly. So use your box to your benefit. Fold that over and always make sure that you've got these two lined up. That's the part that's shown. So I'm happy enough with that. So make sure everything's sliding in and out before you looks okay. You can actually take that out of there now and do a bit of creasing if you want. Fold each one over like that. Don't try and flatten it out because it has taken its proper shape and that's the shape it wants to keep. But it's just to make sure that these are all nicely creased. And then we're going to fold up this. So we know this is the front of the box. The seams at the back. So put your two um, pieces there. Those two wee bits with glue. And the back comes forward. You should slide your drawing to keep it nice and square, I suppose. Just going to squash the box, Patricia. This one's a wee bit tighter, is it? Right, make sure that's down, that's down. That comes over and everything's square. And then save your last one. And again, make sure it's nice and square. And that should hold till we get the rest of the decoration. 
and we want to decorate it using this lovely sentiment here it's your time to shine out of that we're also going to use our pick a punch to create the stamping area so you want an inch wide in the black with about three and a half inches to square maybe three three and a half at the least one slide that into the one that you're using you have a choice of two there it should take the full uh, length slide it into the back but do flick it over and make sure that you're happy with the way it's sent because it can wibble about because you're only using an inch of paper so give it the benefit of the doubt you look at the wee measurements there and make sure you're happy with where your paper's going and that it's right up because you want a nice straight edge and then do the same you have a three quarter inch piece in the wisp of white slide it into the same fitting toss it over and again make sure because you can see it can slide in that's definitely off kilter there so you need to eyeball it and make sure you're happy with it the punch can only do so much so that should fit perfectly there and we're going to do our stamping now just oops in the same black these out of the way do your stamping before you stick it down it's your time to shine just down a wee bit leave yourself because you're going to punch a wee hole there for your ribbon so sort of start on the straight line of that time to shine and then we want to cut that off where you want it to cut use your tape pen again just to attach this oops centered in there and again pop that in and cut it off so mark yourself a hole where you want your ribbon to go through use your same punch again and you just need another wee piece of the ribbon just about that thread it through the wee hole On. just make it look its best why not and then just using a few uh, larger dimensionals foam pads whatever you want to call them to raise it up and we're just going to pop it on the back So, one, two, three boxes, pretty pleased with them, that's all in their favourite colours, so uh, why not give it a wee go? It's great to be uh, making your own, I love making your own background paper, it's so much fun, it gets you to explore smaller stamps in your set than you normally would. So that's me, um, I'll catch you all again next week, and good luck to any boys and girls who are heading back to school. Bye!